The European Cricket Championship is proudly brought to you by Dream Eleven, HCL Software, Paramatch, The Hunter at Andalusia, and Victorinox. Group two is from the lake end, and one thing I can tell you, and I think that to both Benny and Corey have touched on this already, the wind is an issue. It's playing right into the batters, so you're probably going to see plenty of times today and have seen already where batters are hitting against the wind, especially when you're hitting straight down the ground, and it's going to be Joe Cope with the ball to start off with. And he starts with a no ball. There's no doubt about this. It's called straight away. And he starts with a maximal. That's the way to do it. Tunnels are done. And goes up after this. And this one will go all the way. Bully, bully, bully. And it goes after this. And that's one other thing to point out. That we said that batters might uh, struggle hitting against the wind when they're hitting straight down the ground. And gone. Good sharp catch. That's the end of Burdekin. Well, they want to have a look. They think it's a bump ball. Here we go. All right. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, pretty conclusive, isn't it? I mean, you look, maybe he's feeling it because his bat afterwards hits yep. the ground, you see. So he's, the bat is hitting the ground, but you can see the ball just out. is sliding straight off it. The first wicket of this game, Burdekin out for 11 off 9. That's going to be a teaser for the field, and he gets past him. It's going to be Cuatro Corridas. It's down the ground, though, a little bit over-pitched, and this time it's going to be one bounce. Four runs as that's hit pretty straight. That's firmly hit, but straight to the fielder, and it's going to be a soft dismissal, really, for Chamal Sadun. He goes to take on Niraj Tiari. So catch has been taken. It's uppish, but he's going to find the gap. And backs himself to play this shot. And a backward point. A nice cut shot. And it probably gets through the same fielder again. Uh, this time, Sagar Hussain. And that's worked away. It's a little bit short from Alam. Well, talking about up. Well, this is the Grizzly going up, up and away. And of course, when we come from the lake end, no, oh, <laughs> shot. <laughs> what a shot this is. Well, let's stop talking about Alistair for a moment and talk about Roman Mazumda, because this is so far. With the wind in play, you would think it'll be harder to get away. This gets played up in the air. They're coming in from everywhere. It'd be a great catch. Oh. And it is a brilliant catch. It's a moment of magic from... Venkatash, what a catch this is. This ball is swirling around in the air. Fielders are coming in from everywhere. And the bowler, Magash Hayam, says, leave it to me. I want it. And he has taken an exceptional catch. And he's not going to, because he's going to hit the first one straight into the hands of the fielder. And Sababun Davici holds on to the catch. The wind, again, plays his part, this time in favour of Czechia. There must be 25 kilometres going straight into the batter's eyes. He actually hit that OK, but it's in the wind. And... That's going to be worked away. I don't think the man's going to stop this because it's hit very fine. That's going to be four more runs. And, well, I think well, there's definitely a noise. Yeah, that's a... Quite a peculiar dismissal. He's trying to play this one away on the leg side, but he ends up putting it straight into the hands of Kari. This is a, a very unusual one, but it is out. There was a big, big bit of bat on this. Oh, well, that Oof. is absolutely muscled. Into the pads and gone. No doubt about it from the umpire. The finger goes up straight away. What a good comeback this is from Buyan. And Sazib Buyan gets it full and straight. And Ajahn Shahi is trying to work this away. It's the perfect comeback ball. That's hit pretty well, though. Down the ground is going to split the fielders. That's going to be four runs. A nice shot there. Buyan, I think it Buyan. is. Yeah, it is Buyan, yep. 
Oh. Asking the question, and he's going to get the wicket. There's a little feather here from Nalin Patruana, who is trying his best to get something on this. But Buyan just holds that one back a little bit, I think. It's a clever delivery, and it goes neatly into the gloves. The catch is taken, well taken there by Palaskari. Uh, that's a good hit. That's going to go all the way. Boom. Shaka Lagia. Que guay. Que genial. Que grande. Seis carreras to finish with. That's a good hit. And they will get to the 100. But you've got to feel it's going to be a very low pass score. 104 for seven. The umpires have made their way out. So Sullivan Sahid and umpire Arun, and now they're followed out by the fielding side. Cypress and Scott Budkin will know that he's bowlers. Here's the first. And it's well left, and liking the fact that the wicketkeeper is standing up there as well. Paces away, but they're taking this on. That's risky. That is gone. That is gone. Check it one more side on. So here's the shot. Pick up, throw, and yeah, that ball is, I think, hitting the stumps there. And we just want to make sure there's no impact from. So I don't think the keeper gets involved. Ball hitting the stumps, and that's going to be out. New batter comes out and gets it through, and this is going to run quickly across the beautiful outfield here. And this time, though, is a little bit too straight. He tries the slower ball again. Well, that one is going into probably the, the merch tent. Well, there's Maximo with his peacock. And that will go for six as well. Shaba, Shaba, Ginna, Sona, Manos, Riva, Riva, Vidro. Goes for it and will get it. Powerful hitting. And that is the beast mode for you, everybody. And uh, Suresh, there's no messing around from him. Goes oh. again, and that is even bigger than the one before. Two out of two from Suresh Wickramasakara. The beast is out there. Slower, but that's been picked beautifully off the pads. The timing on this is epic. Uh, once again, is the, <laughs> the grizzly stand. This time, oh, oh it's no. a midfield. That's poor. Oh, oh. <laughs> Adi Ospelota. That is the biggest of the lot. And that is six more. A uh, clever shot. Just sees this is shorter. Rocks back. Gets himself in a lovely position. Starts with a, well, a little bit of bad luck, really. That's going to be a Baximo. Well, you can change things around. You can fool with the field as much as you want. But a short ball is a short ball, Rico, and that's another big six. Oh, no. Oh, no. Again, a missed field through the legs again, Rico, Same and fielder. another four. Slower delivery, picked up beautifully. Plenty of power in the shot, and that is going to be six more. Wow. How is that? How is that? That is the beast in full destructive mode. Just rocks back. Impact here. And he just plays that away. And he will get his 50. Beautifully batted. What a knot that is from Sudesh Wickram Sakara. The beast is back, everybody. It's back-to-back -back 50s for Sudesh. Edge. And they will get a wicket. That's a good catch. You can see them change the field around here a fair bit. Got Burdekin wanted to have it right, and it works in their favour. It's a catch taken, and uh, Tomo will go. I wonder if this got a little bit of the keeper on the way through, but he ain't going to get away with this one. That's more like it. It's uh, muscled over the boundary, goes over the giant merchandising, merchandising tent. Oh, that's picked up beautifully. Elevated up, it will go all the way. Manos, arriba, arriba, arriba from the Albedro. Okay, now, chance. 
taken. Very good catch and an important catch as taken there by Mangala Gunasakara. Now that could make the difference of a point or not, you know, Corey. Yeah, it definitely will. 12 off 7 now and the Beast will have to go for a very exciting 63. And it's up in the air. It's a nice shot. It's going to be four runs. It's a big gap in there. If you get it past point, uh, that's a good-looking shot. And that's going to be, I think, four more. Yeah, four's been signaled. Four more runs here. And that will be it. It'll be done and dusted. And with two balls to go in this sixth over, it will be Czechia who not only get a win, but they absolutely annihilate Cyprus here, taking all four points.